Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious elotes chorreados. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious Mexican snack, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe, we're going to need corn on the cob, your favorite chips, 8 ounces of cheddar cheese, 3 tablespoons of flour, 3 tablespoons of butter, 3 tablespoons of pickled jalapenos, your favorite hot sauce, limes, one cup and a quarter of whole milk and queso cotija. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by cooking our corn and I'm going to be using my pressure cooker for that. Um, of course, if you don't have one, you can boil your corn. Um, I'm going to do four at a time and I'm going to add my steamer rack. So place it on your instant pot and then we're going to add our corn. And to that, I'm going to add one cup of water. All right, so I have them set like that. Now I'm going to close it, set the valve on sealing. All right, so we're going to press the pressure cook setting. We're going to cook our corn for two minutes and high. All right, so once our pressure cooker is ready, now we're just going to let it cook for two minutes. All right, so after two minutes, our corn are ready. So now we're going to quick release. All right, so we're going to open them. And we're just going to leave them in here until we're done making our nacho cheese. And look how beautiful they look. Nice and ready. All right, so now to make our nacho cheese, we're going to begin by shredding our cheese. All right, so once our cheese is shredded, now we can begin making our nacho cheese. All right, so we're going to grab a pan and we're going to set it on medium heat. And we're going to add our butter. And we're just going to wait for that to melt. All right, so once the butter has melted, we're going to add our jalapeno. And we're just going to cook our jalapenos for about one minute. All right, so after the minute, we're going to remove the jalapeno. All right, so now we're going to add our flour and mix it with the butter. All right, so once our butter and flour has combined, now we're going to slowly add our milk and just whisk it and we're just going to wait for this to thicken up a little all right guys so after the minute this is what your milk should look like so now at this point we're going to slowly add our cheese the cheese mix it wait for that to begin to melt okay and then we're going to add the remaining of our cheese Now just mix it. And now to my cheese, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. But of course, that could be all to taste. And just mix it and wait for everything to um, melt. Now that our nacho cheese is ready, taste it. Adjust it to your liking. For me, this is perfect. So we're going to keep it on the lowest setting. And now we can continue making our corn. All right, so now we're going to remove the kernels from our cob. So just be careful. So just make sure that you separate your kernel. And of course, you can also serve your um, elote chorreado like that as a whole. But I like personally making it in a cup. All right, so I'm just going to grab the water and pour it on my corn. Okay, so now we're ready to put our elote chorreados together. All right, so first I'm going to begin by prepping my esquite. So I'm going to grab my little molcajete 
And of course the whey or anything that you add to your um, corn is going to be up to you. If you're liking, you can use butter, mayo, you know, all your favorite toppings. So I'm just going to add my butter. Place it like on the bottom. My queso cotija. Okay, so I'm going to add my corn. And I like the juice. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I personally like it. Okay. I'm going to add some more butter. Some lime juice. Queso cotija. My hot sauce. My chili powder. Okay, now I'm going to add my chips on the side. All right, so I'm adding Doritos, Tositos. The chips is going to be up to you. And of course, hot Cheetos. So now we're going to add our nacho cheese. And this is the reason why it's called elote enchorado. Because you just drip the nacho cheese. And I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more queso cotija on my chips. And some more hot sauce. Okay, so add a piece of lime. And now we are ready to enjoy our delicious elotes chorreados. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the tasters. Let me tell you that I am so ready. I love corn in a cup. Um, it's just the perfect combination of everything. And of course, if you want to save five minutes, uh, you can buy the nacho cheese. But let me tell you, the homemade is just so much better. Uh, and it's so easy to make. And if you like it more runny, add more milk. And now we are ready. And of course, this is something that I will not eat all by myself. And it's not something that you will eat every day. You know, just once in a while. Let me just mix my corn. And now that we have it, enjoy. Mm. Seriously, super delicious. The nacho cheese is like the sherry on top. It's so good. And of course, the corn. Hope you give it a try and you enjoy it just as much as I do. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how I make a delicious elote chorreado. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.